where to. I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of P.O.'d. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. Hold on there, big fella. Threatening a security guard's a violation of this building's code of conduct number 5 subparagraph Roman numeral 2. I'm just telling you what Mr. LaCroix told me. And you wouldn't threaten him now, would you? Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? What can I tell you about them? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful, and not to be trifled with. Yes, we used our extensive knowledge of blood magics to create a race of protectors. They served that purpose well. But they have also caused many problems. It's a complicated issue. Well, many gargoyles still serve their Tremere masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. Isaac Abrams. His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? It's a dangerous game you're playing, Neonate. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell.
What's up? Sure thing, kill. Fire away. What's on your mind? What about him? Nope, never heard of him. Ah, oh, yes, holy vampire hunters. Stankin' for Jesus. <laughs> I don't worry about him too much. If you find one worth the shooting, damn well better blindside you or you're dead. Either way, why worry? devilish trick. Am I to trade one chain for another? Bow to Abrams now, instead of my old master? <laughs> Never! <laughs> this Camarilla. <laughs> he 
fights. He fights against his own kind. Of all your kind I do. Secrecy and sorcery. Betrayal and blood magic. Damn to hell are all of you. But the Tremere, most of all. Yes, I will fight alongside this Abrams and help him in his battle against this Camarilla. Lifeless demon he may be, but I swear to fight at his side. <laughs> yes, now leave me. This theater is my domain, and I seek the peace of solitude. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've turned into the Deb of Night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. What's up? Oh. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Welcome Area to Red Spot, three, two, home three, of Monstro Chai. 72 G -G ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 Looks like cents. somebody's been blah, waiting blah. in the queue quite a while. need help or something? Yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insects. Insects. As in you have an insect problem, or uh, tripping crickets. This isn't going to turn up, out to be or ironic, You have nightmares is it? about them. You're not Coming like a here. serial killer, no, are no, you? No, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. Always. You, you, you should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. Uh, I mean, We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Are there Five any bucks, scientists out there men. listening to We're this? We're going to ruin um, the place. I, I read something. I, I don't know where, but do you know the average person eats several pounds of insects a year? The you mean like hardcore girl on girl on kangaroo and action and stuff? Just knowing yeah, that as soon as yeah, you my man Flynn at the Sunbeam hooks me in my crew up for all the stuff they're doing a lot of the internet. Throat. Throat. I can't do it. I never sleep at night. Oh, you know, they voluntarily eat insects man, in some countries. That's supposed to be some yeah, hardcore well, shit. Those countries probably I heard this need Jesus. Dying dying so, you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? Like I said, Flynn's a man. what exactly do you do? You should talk to him. That would explain why my nephew invested yeah, that 20 I sent him for his rocks. birthday on magic They don't let me in anymore, but... It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good it's hands, like isn't it? smuggling ring in there. Oh, boy. Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Uh, hey, you okay, know, and you should really you ask do, me about the Roger. special, you know? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but I got some really good ideas for some stories that are crawling around in the old noggin. <laughs> so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Well, you see. Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or director? But don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not or not?
Do I know you? Oh my gosh, my loser sense is tingling. Yes. Yeah, I think we should see other people immediately and never look back or look or speak to each other ever, ever again. Buy me a drink? Sound familiar? I didn't think so. Just mine. Why don't you ask everyone else in the world? They'd know. Present. Before the killing stroke, huh? Two, three. I could just walk out there right now, blaze of glory, be it. And you know what? Knowing that, it doesn't bother me. And I guess the only reason I haven't walked out yet is because I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't bother me. It would break Isaac's heart. It's good to know some good would come from my death. Isaac helped me. No, it's a laugh. <laughs> he wouldn't be caught within 500 feet of this place. Not with hunters. Just the thought of asking him for help. That smug curl of those frozen lips of his. Not in this lifetime. Hey, did Isaac send you? What the hell, then, would be your motivation to help me? from a sitcom. Whatever. Look around the club. Maybe you'll get lucky.
Do I know you? Yeah, I think we should see other people immediately and never look back or look or speak to each other ever, ever again. Do I know you? Cash? What do I have to do? Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Whoa, back up. What the hell do you want my clothes for? What am I supposed to wear? This is crazy. This is... this is... Oh, I knew I should have gone to Glaze tonight. All right, I'll do it. What do you want me to do? Who keeps playing this song? Damn, man, get a new CD. A gargoyle serving in the defense of Hollywood. <laughs> Exceptional. I'm sure it'll come as quite a surprise to the first shock troop that crosses the city line. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Any luck? Then there is nothing I can do. Involving myself would be... No, I'm certain Ash will find some way out of his mess. It would be foolish not to be. Once they've got your scent, they're like murderous paparazzi. I don't question the difficulty of escape, but I have faith in my child. I'll say no more about this.
clothes. And what do you propose we do? You sure about that? I don't know that you even out the odds a whole lot, but just maybe we'll make it out alive. Are you ready right now? If I make it past the hunters, I'm getting the hell out of town. Let's head into the sewers.
that was the last one. Here, this is for your troubles. You know, I only lived in Hollywood for ten years. I wonder how long I'll live on in her after I go. Hmm. It was as far as I could fall. It was as low as I could go. Way past oblivion to a point only described as negative zero. My name is Misty, and I interest you in a private dance. I've got something special in mind, just for you. Hey there. <laughs>
Isn't this better? You and me alone, for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense, and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Oh yes, what gave me away? Mm. I'm beginning to think sending you up here is even better. The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. That may be so, but some kind are skilled beyond all our ability. Some in the arts, some in murder. If they smell a corpse, they'll bury it. I'm Velvet. Velour. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down a list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in a locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair is blonde on the top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocence killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Mm -hmm. Mingle. Sightsee. Chat. And me, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm a dancer. It is now. I'm sorry. I'd rather never live in the present than to ever in the past. Mm-hmm.
Hey, you slick. The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? The sin bin? Man, we've got filth of every flavor. Just tell me what makes your bits tingle, Jack. I'll set you right up. Man, we got everything you'll ever need. Softcore, hardcore, gay, straight, farm, or furry. We got shockers, shivers, self-lubricators, and strap-ons. Chains, crops, and canes are in the back next to the triple ripples. Like I said, we got it all. Yeah? What do you want to know? Hollywood? What do you want to know about it? Hardware? Yeah, I got plenty of hardware in here. Check out the footlongs over there. What more could you... Oh. You're talking about the exit wound kind of hardware, right? All right. You didn't hear it from me, but Slater over at the Red Spot might have a few items that'll get you hot and bothered. Which ones? The Aspole. It's just across the street. Some uptight Hollywood club where the drinks cost too much and the girls put out too little. Which ain't bad for me. Most of the drunk horny assholes come straight to my place after last call. Which ones? We got all you need right here, but if you like, uh, second-rate smut... Head up the street to Vesuvius. One of the strippers actually owns the place. You should see the rack of lamb on that one. Which ones? The old Asian theater? It's been closed for a while. Place gives me the freaking creeps. Seems like everyone's got a Hollywood ghost story, but you walk by that place and look at it, you'll swear something's looking back. Yeah? What do you want to know? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Really? You a cop? Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here! Uh, okay. Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress, or some creepy shit like that. And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. What can I do for you, Slick? Uh, yeah. Chastity. She works downstairs in the booze. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, pull your cork, <laughs> I got better girls than her. She ain't exactly adventuresome. Know what I'm talking about?
All right, it's your dollar. But if you want a private show, you're gonna have to wait until the booth customers clear out. The girls don't come out for one-on-one -on -one action until then.
What are you looking for, honey? Okay, 200 bucks for 10 minutes. Anything you want, you just gotta make it quick, all right? All right. Just meet me in the Pleasure Palace, the room at the back of the hall. Your time just started. Well, here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. All right. It's your dollar. 